Hi YouTube family, my name is Vicky. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to rotate IAM user credentials. First of all, we need to understand why we need to rotate the credentials. So, you know, companies um, need to rotate the user's credentials because of the security policy, because of the compliance issue. And, you know, uh, so that their security is not going to compromise. That is the thing. You know, if we are going to rotate the security credential for a user then what will happen if someone get access to any of the user credentials that credential is going to be changed after a couple of days or after a couple of weeks or month so for that you know it is a mandatory step in each and every company where we need to rotate a im user credentials so we will go step by step and i will uh, show you each and everything like how we can create a user how we can give access to that user how we can create a custom policy and how we can rotate the user credentials and after that we are also going to do the testing and okay whatever the uh, whatever the thing i'm going to do i'm going to do each and everything from the aws cli i'm not going to do it from the console but i'm also going to tell you from the console from where you can do it okay so not wasting much time let's start the video but i request you if you are on this channel for the first time then do subscribe my channel and hit the like button if you like this video now here i logged into my aws account so i am in identity and access management so how you can reach here like you can search for the services and here you can type the IAM and once you click on the IAM you will land on this page now here we need to create couple of users so here I am in the user section and as of now there is no user for me the first user which I am going to create I am going to create an admin user now why I am going to create an admin user because from the admin user I am going to rotate the credentials for the other user as I said at the starting of the video i'm going to do each and everything from the aws cli so for cli we need admin user so that that user is able to perform all the action so the first user we are going to create um, now how to create a user so we need to click on user and then we need to click on add user once we click on add user here we have the option for the username so let me give uh, user admin and here I will go with the programmatic access as I have to do each and everything from the AWS CLI I am going to select the programmatic access next permission and here I will go to the attach existing permission and I will give the admin access next review create user now this user is created and once this user is created I will get an option to download this CSV file and the other option I will get the access key and the secret key here now this is something I need when I need to configure the user on the on any of the machine either it could be a Windows machine or PowerShell or it could be a Linux machine or it could be a Mac machine it could be any machine if I need to configure the user I need the access key and the secret key now I have this information with me so what I can do is I will go to my terminal now here I am in my terminal so let me configure this user so how to configure this user that is with the command aws configure minus minus i am going to give the profile name as well now why i am giving this option because i need to configure multiple user on this terminal so that is the reason i am given the profile option as well so let me give a profile user admin now whenever i need to perform any task with this user i need to give this thing at the end of each and every command okay now here it is asking me to, for the access key now from where I will get the access key from here let me copy this thing let me paste it here the next option I have that is for the secret key let me copy this thing and paste it here now the next option I have that is the default region name so from where I will get it US East 1 I'm in North Virginia so let me enter that thing US East 1 and the last option I have that is the default output format. Now here we have multiple options like we can go with the JSON, we can go with the YAML. If I am not going to provide any of the information, it will consider as a JSON. So let me enter this thing. Now this user is configured for me. This user admin is configured for me in this machine on this terminal. 
so the next option let me verify whether this user has access or not i have given the admin privileges so let me go with one of the command that is the aws s3 ls minus minus profile and then user dash admin if i'm not going to give this profile option what will happen it is going to take the default profile now what exactly the default profile that is something i have already explained in a different uh, video i will give you the link in the description so you can go and watch that video for now let me enter this command aws s3 ls minus minus profile user admin let me enter this thing now here i am able to call all the buckets so that means this user has permission to call the bucket okay now let's create one more user here now this is the demo user which i am going to create create for which i need to rotate the credentials so here we need to click on the add user we are going to follow exactly the same steps so user demo i'm going to give the name again i will go with the programmatic access next permission here in the policy i'm not going to attach anything okay for now this user has no permission that's okay absolutely fine for me now let me copy the access key and let me go to my terminal and the same command we need to give minus minus profile and here we are going to give user demo access key paste it here now secret key let me click on this default region name us east one hit enter done so we have configured this user demo as well so let me call the same s3 uh, bucket aws s3 ls minus minus profile and user dash demo now here i will get the error message access denied because we know at the time of creation of this user we have not assigned any of the policy that is the reason this user is getting access denied but if i'm going to run the same command with a different user like user admin i'm able to call all the buckets because that user user admin has a admin privileges Great. now till this point we have created one of the demo user for that i need to rotate the credentials but before that let me go to the console now here i can see both of my user if i am going to click on user demo and if i go to my security credentials here it is going to show me this detail this is the access key id and the created date is this last use it is showing me na and the status it is telling me active now i need to see all those details from where from the command line now how i can see that for that we have a command which we are going to use I'm going to share all those commands with you so don't worry so this is the command I will explain this command as well so let me paste this thing now AWS I am list access key so what it is going to do is it is going to list the access key for the username now here we need to give the username so the username is going to be user dash demo and after that we need to give the profile name as well from which user we need to run this thing and we need to run this command with user admin so what exactly i am doing is i want to see the detail of access key for which user for this user and from which user i am running this thing from user admin user admin has all the privileges so it is able to call the access key for this user now let me enter this thing here we go now if i'm going to compare we are getting the same access key if you see the last three digit or last three alphabet if you are going to see it's exactly the same right and the creation date is there and it is active now the next thing is we need to create one more access key now why we need to create one more access key we need to create a new access key so that we are going to disable this one and use the new one okay now if we need to create a access key from here how we can do that so for that we need to go to the user like user demo we need to come to the security credentials and here we have the option to create access key now once i'm going to click on this thing it is going to create a access key secret key for me 
and again I need to configure that thing with the AWS configure command okay but let's see how we can do this thing from the command line so for that we have a command so let me copy this command from here let me go to my terminal okay now here let me paste this thing now here in the username what we need to give we need to give the username as user dash demo and after that profile from which user i need to run this thing i need to run this thing from user admin now it is going to create a access key and the secret key now this thing is very important this secret key is a one time option only i will not get this secret key again so it is very important that we are going to copy this thing somewhere okay so for that let me copy this thing and let me enter it somewhere so i'm going to enter it here and this is the access key access key i will get it from the list access key option as well let me enter this oops sorry now we are done now let me go with the list command one more time so um, here the command which i am going to run aws im list access key username user demo and from which user i am running from user admin let me enter this thing now if we are going to check it from the console let me show it to you let me go to the console let me refresh this one okay user demo security credentials now here i have two access key and both the access keys are showing active one more thing or one more point to note here here we have the create access key option is grayed out so that means i can only create maximum two access key and the secret key for a single user now if i need to create a third one what i need to do is i need to delete one of those access key and then i can create a new one okay now let me go to the terminal now here in the terminal it is exactly showing me the same thing now if you see access key here ending with this ending with this creation date active everything it is showing okay now the next thing we need to do is we need to provide some access to the user so here i will go to the add permission attach existing policy and here i am going to give s3 full access next review add permission we are done now let me call the s3 function aws s3 ls minus minus profile and the profile is going to be user demo now let me hit enter i'm able to call the bucket operation right but the point here is we have two access key out of which there is only one access key which is configured on this machine which access key the first one which we have configured with the aws configure command so let me do one thing let me disable one of the access key and which one we are going to disable the first one which is the first one this is the first one okay now the first command which i am going to run is to list the access key now i will get these two option uh, these two access key first one is this and the second one is this now what we need to do is we need to keep this one and we need to delete this one so how to disable or delete this thing let's see from the command line now for that we have the command this let me enter paste now here we need to change the username now the username is user dash demo now and we need to give the access key here now from where i will get the access key from this copy and paste it here paste now if we look at this command that is aws im update access key so what exactly it is going to do is it is going to update the access key which access key this access key for which user for user demo and what it is going to do is it is going to 
change the status from active to inactive now in the last we also need to give the profile of the user from which we need to run this command because if i'm going to run this thing it will run by the default user that is something i don't want so profile and user dash admin done now let me go with the list access key one more time and here it is showing me inactive so that means i have only one which is inactive and the other one is in inactive let me go to the console and check the same thing here we it is showing both the things in active let me refresh user demo security credentials now it is loading and one it is showing inactive great now the next thing let me go to my terminal now the next thing which i need to do is i need to configure this new access key because if i am going to run this command le let me go aws i am uh, not this one okay this one aws s3 ls profile user demo so that means i am calling the s3 function from which user from user demo let me call this thing now here it is telling me invalid access key id it is not telling me that it is access denied or something it is telling me invalid access key id why because this currently configured access key is inactive now what i need to do is i need to configure this thing so the same command i am going to use aws configure then minus minus profile and then we need to give the username user dem now if i hit enter see the last four digit right now this one is configured right so what i need to do is i need to configure a new one so let me copy this thing copy paste now the secret key let me copy the secret key from here paste now default region name it is us each one so i'm just going to hit enter so that it is going to pick the last use value great aws now let me run this thing yes we are able to call the s3 function from the new access key now the last and the final step we have inactive this access key but the last thing we need to delete this one see if from the console i need to do that i can easily click here and delete it but let's see how we can do it from the aws cli for that we have a command let me enter this command and paste it here again we need to update couple of things like in the end we need to give the profile name as user dash admin because from user dash admin i need to run this one in the username i am going to update user dash demo and in the access key id we need to give the access key id here so access key id now let me copy it from the console so here is the access key id paste it here we are done let me enter now let me go with the list option one more time aws i am list key yes now it is only showing me one right which is currently active on my machine now if i am going to refresh this thing let me go to the user user demo security credentials here we are it is only showing me one access key now by this way we can dotate the access key we can also create a shell script for that because there are couple of commands which we have used like this thing if we go list command create command update command delete command if we want we can create a shell script and we can you know run our shell script at a certain time with the help of the cron job so that we are not going to you know do this thing manually that is also we can do if we know how to do the scripting and everything we can do that 